Now we want to welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, singing, talented, super sensation, Mr. Niall Sexton. Hello and welcome to the show. Hello there, guys. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. Before How's we get it going? St- it's going good. Let me introduce you to everybody. Starting off with our cool, outrageous man about town co-host, Mr. Ron Russell. Hey, baby. Let me tell Hi, you. Ron. Let me tell you something. I hate screaming people when they sing. They call it a note. I call it screaming. You, my okay. friend, ha- hold a note like a violin. You can sing. You don't scream. And for that, I'm grateful <laughs> because I really am not in the mood today to listen to any screamers. We actually just played your Gravity video for everybody, it so they would really have an idea good. who you are a little bit before really, you came really, on. Really, really, really good. You got a voice. Thank you, Brian. What's wrong? Thank no, you. Yeah, it's, it's, um, you know, I, tell the I tend to focus a lot on tone, yeah. Tone is, uh, nowadays, I think... Um, should overshadow uh, range. I think tone something to look out for. It's very underrated. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah. So, also, we got the man behind the boards who answers and hooks all these calls up and who's running everything for us in Florida. So, we got the Mr. Chad Murphy. Say hey to Chad Murphy. Hey, Chad. How's it going? Welcome to the show. Okay. Our second yes, run. You have, a, you have an amazing voice, sir. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Chad. And then yeah, we have a chat room you. full of people. So, say hello to everybody in the chat room. Hi, guys. And then give a, and give a special shout out to your mom because she's in the chat room too. Oh, better be <laughs> Oh, I can't. Hi, it's my mother. <laughs> She'll love me for this. Oh. So, where are you actually calling us from? Are you in Ireland? Or are you in England? No, no, I'm I'm in London. You... I moved over to London uh, just over a month ago, just oh. to kind of, you know, there's more opportunities uh, to do with music and in the music industry in London. It's kind of like a local New York. <laughs> That's right. How do you afford London? It's outrageously expensive. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, just been gigging. There's good money in gigging. Um, digging? Just, what is uh, digging? Gigging, gigging. Playing, oh, gigging. Gigging. Yeah, like, playing gigs. Yeah, yeah, singing. I'm old. Singing, yeah. I don't hear good. You have to like, <laughs> <laughs> Gigging! I got it. I got it. Listen, your mother's I watching. You didn't like so, people screaming. Wait, we can't curse or do anything dirty because your mother's. No, he's watching. 22. It's okay. No, we don't want to upset so his good. mother. His mother it's will. Fine, no. Actually, my, my... I, I have the sniffles, everybody. I don't do coke. So if you see me rubbing my nose, because I have the sniffles. We're in Pennsylvania. It's 30 it's degrees. Freezing. It's freezing. Actually, I don't know. How cold is it in England now? Yeah, really cold. I have like a little radiator behind, beside me, you know, keeping me warm. I'm just in, uh, in my room. Do you like my? Uh, it's not a green screen. It's it's kind of like a white screen. It's a white so. screen. It works oh, yeah. good because we can see you well. Yeah. So I like that. So so how did your mom? How did your mom handle the move? You leaving Ireland and going to the UK? Because I remember in your audition they show this little clip, and your mom says, you know, like it would kill her for you to leave, but she would like never stop you from going because she <laughs> wants you to go after your career. Did she handle it okay? Yeah, I shouldn't be laughing at that. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, um, we parents leaving, lie leaving lie. the nest. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, I'm sure it was difficult for her to let me go. Um, chase my dreams. Um, as cheesy as that sounds. But um, yeah. But it was especially hard because I have three brothers, and they also left like within the two months of before me leaving. So it's kind of like we all just left so like, you- at once, which is hard for her. So but at least have, I'm, I'm there. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, you have three other brothers, or there's three of you total? No, three other brothers, so four boys. Oh, total. okay. So one of them wasn't at your X Factor audition, because there was only two. Yeah, right? yeah. one was in New York, I think. Um, they've all got the travel bugs, so like they're, they're all in, in Canada, I think, Toronto at the moment. Um, coming up the ski season, I think they're going to do that. There you go. Uh, so uh, so my so, mom is but you know this, parents this lie this, because my my daughters are moving to New York and we're moving to California so I lie right. and I say oh go you know seek your careers girls it's wonderful meanwhile I'm going to have a nervous breakdown and probably commit suicide <laughs> <laughs> because my girls are leaving Don't do me. Oh, I can't live without my kids. I'm one of those neurotic I can't parents. Imagine, huh? I'm not a parent person, but I can't imagine uh couldn't imagine what 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 it would feel like, you know to see your child you know go off but it's a kind of a kind of a proud moment as well i think because um everyone like i love my hometown um i'm from a town called macrofeld a uh, small town uh it's great and stuff all my friends are there but there's not much opportunity music wise so they would all kind of they all understood that i had if i wanted to take the next step in my career that i had to 
make the move it was essential so. and if they want to get out of town for a great weekend they can come stay with you <laughs> exactly exactly yeah, yeah. yeah but you I, see... you've no idea how many people have like came on to me and said <laughs> yeah i'll come over for the weekend i'll stay here first years, years, yeah. many many years ago when i was young children never left the block you lived on you had a house yeah. there and then somebody got married and they moved next door and he would be a garbage man or he'd work for the streets, you know, to break the streets up and fix the pipes. He lived locally. Myron. And women never yeah. left their parents. Girls never left home. I mean, they got married and moved next door. So parents could control their kids forever and torture them forever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now they run well, away because they don't want to be tortured anymore. Yeah. Well, I suppose it's come a long way then. Um, Did your mother torture I, I... you a lot? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, she's <laughs> her and my dad always uh, told me to travel as wide and as far across the world as possible, you know, to see the world, basically. It's kind of like staying in one place is like reading one chapter of a book, I suppose. You could compare it to that. So, yeah. I know that. My, my children gave me a coffee cup once, and it said, my dad breaks for lectures when we were driving. <laughs> and it was true. I never <laughs> realized it. Every traffic light, I'd give them another lecture. And they'd sit back there rolling their eyes. Now they're running away from me. They can't take me anymore. <laughs> oh, the the, the lectures pay off. They pay yeah. off too. Yeah, that's I've right. I've had plenty of lectures in my time. So I have a question. Because I, I have a question. Let's talk about the musical. First of all, because you have two brothers. So does the third brother also have a beard? And are you a four-bearded brother family? Well, no. I think the fourth one doesn't have a beard. But when he tries, we kind of just like take the hand. And laugh at him because it's just so terrible. Like mine isn't the best <laughs> by any means, but his is just very patchy. So yeah, so, so <laughs> he's not a mom. But uh, in a lot of your videos, which we should tell everybody, Niall has a uh, YouTube page. You can just plug in Niall Sexton, S E X T O N, and like he has a YouTube page. You should subscribe to his channel. He's got tons of great videos. And in a lot of the videos, you had a big beard. So did you did you cut the beard short for your audition? Well. Here's a little secret for you. Are you talking about the one where I'm like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's not actually me. That's my oh. brother. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, so like cuz he's a videographer. Um check out all you guys just check him out. It's uh, Killian Saxton or Chaos Media, sorry, on YouTube. He's got great traveling videos, very inspiring. Um anyway, he done the video and he had the he had uh he's a cameras and stuff with him over and he was in new york at the time last fall i think um so i didn't have a camera and i had no way to record a video for it and i didn't want to put it up just a picture you know i wanted to <clears throat> create a cool video for it so he was like uh yeah i'll turn my face to the side a kind of silhouette effect uh and then yeah uh, it looks not many like people you. realize that. And no, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. it was you. I didn't realize that. And since yeah. your your beard is getting longer now, and it was really short for yeah. your audition, so I just thought maybe yeah, you yeah. cut it. You cut it yeah, for the. I... Oh, we froze up. It was like June time, yeah. So yeah, I've been growing it since then. There you go. I gotta love it. All right. So so tell us, do you, were you a fan? Did you watch X Factor a lot before before you were actually on it? Um. Uh -oh. I used to watch it like religiously when I was younger, but like the last few years, not like saying anything bad about the show, but I just didn't. I like had work, obviously, I was getting older. I'd work on Saturday nights in a bar or something. I didn't, I would catch up on YouTube and stuff, but I didn't watch it too much the last few years. But I, I knew the kind of gist of it, I knew what how it worked and all the stages and you know, the judges and what I, I i watch it on yeah. youtube too since we don't get that in, in in the united states we don't get it anyway um and i have to say like th this season like i'm not really watching it now because like I, I think that all the good people got eliminated before the show actually started but my favorite people of this season was you were you christian burroughs caitlin van beck and samantha atkinson for like the older people yeah, because yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah. she was in the older age, and sure. all you guys got cut right before the live show. And after that, I thought, wow, they 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 they, they didn't take the, the best people that were on the show. Like now, I don't really want to watch it. And and I go every once in a while now and watch the highlight videos from them. But like, I think that they they blew it by not making all four of you guys, especially you though, because I think you were the the most unusual one out of everybody with the coolest voice and and the one that will stand out in the crowd in the marketplace of new music the most. Um, but how was that for you? Like, like, was it a terrible blow? Were you just happy because you had gotten so much exposure exposure or how did that work for you? Explosure. Yeah, exposure. 
<laughs> um, no, well, no, it was overall it was a it was a fun experience. I mean, um, but uh, yeah, it was very nerve wracking because I don't think people don't realize how intimidate, uh, intimidating it is to walk. Environment. Hang on, hang on, hang on one sec, because you like went away for a second. Hang on, there you go. Now you're back. I don't know what happened. Something happened. Say that whatever you just said. Say it again, because we we missed the whole thing. After intimidating. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, it was a fun experience. Uh, people don't realize there's like several pre auditions before. Right. Um, so it's not so you don't just like line up and get to see the judges. So there's it's a long process. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, fun, really nerve wracking. I'm I'm used to singing in front of uh, big audiences. I've had a lot of experience with that. So, like a, like a crowd I off. think something's wrong. So when I walked into my first edition, hang on. It... hang on a second, hang on a second, Chad, can we clear that up? Yeah, let me get on the horn with Skype. I'm, I'm right on it. Oh, Skype! It's Skype's fault. <laughs> of course it's I, Skype's I hate fault. Skype. I told you, Skype. <laughs> Skype should like. I wish. Oh, Trump would reverse he's Skype. Clear, he's cleared up now. Now he's cleared up now. Off the internet, people. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can yeah. hear you now. So, so I have a question: Is Nicole Scherzinger like is as beautiful like in real life as she is like on television? Yeah, yeah, she's so she's so, as you said, beautiful. She's a beautiful woman. Um, she's looks just as good, you know. You she know her. On TV. She was like the lead pussycat doll, girl from the pussycat dolls with the long black hair. Because every time she, we ever see her, you say, "Oh my God, she's so beautiful." So you know who she is. Oh, I know the pussycat girls. I know all of them. Yeah, they're, well, she's they're, all, they're, they're all beautiful. I mean, they're pretty as. We've had girls. a bunch of the puss. Not yeah. we haven't had her on our show, but we've had a bunch of the other original pussycat right. dolls that were in we, the pussycat. We, we have a lot of pussy. Show. We have a lot of pussy on our show. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta like love it. Yeah. Well, she she told me. Um, they didn't show, you know, in other words, it's a TV show at the end of the day. It was a really great experience up to the point where I got to. Um, very intimidating, but exciting. A lot of like slow loads of emotions. Uh, but I'm still in contact with uh, Nicole via her manager. So, like, she's made it clear that she. Uh, oh, we're frozen um, again. This is, this is not a good uh, interview. It's frozen. It's okay. We're all right. He's there again. You back? Say something. You have to have patience with us. Because... Yeah. Hey, everybody, patience, because he's we're skyping halfway across the world. You know, this, so. this is London talking now, <laughs> and, and and they're being bombed. Oh no, that was a second. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Listen no. to you, terrible. All right, so so okay, so you're off. You're you got off the show. I, I really did stop watching it after all you guys got done. Are you friends with Christian at all? Um, I would speak to him the odd time, but uh. Yeah, I'd say we're friendly. We're not best friends or anything, but we definitely keep, you know, keep in, in contact. I think it's cool because now, now through this opportunity, you said you're gigging a lot. I'm sure this opportunity has helped give you a lot of opportunities to play shows. Yeah, 100%. I've been gigging a lot since I came over to London, which is great to get myself out there. I love that. Okay, so. Do you ever feel that there are so many people out there trying to make it in the music business uh, yeah. that it's almost impossible? Did you ever get those feelings? And then what do you do about them when you get them? Yeah, um, definitely. I don't think you'd be human if you didn't have self-doubt. Um, that's an issue I think all of us in some capacity like deal with. Um, but I don't, I just, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to think too far into the future, but like, I do want to make it obviously like that's everyone's, every musician and singers, like they strive to do um, is to bring out their own music for everyone to hear. But I don't want to think that much into the future. I don't want to like make too many plans in my head, uh, you know, set myself up for a fail or anything. But right now, I'm just I've got a manager. Um, I've got really great contacts, uh, music wise, and meeting with write, writers, producers, gigging. So it's going really well so far. But yeah, it's all a process. It could take a year. It could take five years. But um, but you I'm know, you know that you know that it's a business that's short. That's oh, short of course, yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. the stars of the 80s and 90s today are considered old timers. And we have them on because they're doing, you know, covers of other songs and revivals. So a, yeah. good, a good performer today in the music business is good for five years, maybe. So is it all worth yeah. it for five years? 
Actually, well, well, not I, big I, yet. I, well, I mean, <laughs> even the big ones. I mean, I mean, I could Johnny Mathis again. I keep referring to him. Uh, hold on, find out. Do you know who Johnny Mathis is? No, he's not going to know. He's twenty-two. He's, he's the greatest singer in America, better than Frank Sinatra. He sold more records yeah. than anybody. And he's gone. I mean, he, nobody knows who he is. Nobody cares. He's old. He's in his 80s nope. now. No, he's not. Or I feel like it's, it's, no. it's inevitable. I think, like, you can't last forever, but it, it's, just, it's short-lived, like you said. But it's just the key thing is to to create songs that, um, like, that last for forever, really. Like, they're like still Johnny songs. Mathis. Like Johnny Mathis. Johnny Mathis, yeah, you yeah. should Google him. Google Johnny Mathis yeah. just to have an idea because he's got a very beautiful voice like you do also. And he holds notes like you do. He holds do. notes and like that, you that's do. That's why he came to mind. He's been popular for about um, 70, 60 years. Or yeah. so. you know, and, he sold, great, and he sold 360 million records, which is a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah more, more records that, like stand the test of time, definitely. Yes. I think it's just like, yeah, that's really it. Because Music like, business there's, is a hard business, a very hard business. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it, it literally is cut, it's cutthroat, um, and the show has taught me a lot. But you know um, what? Listen to me. You are, you have an edge on everybody because you have a voice. You can sing. Yeah, and yeah. that's going to get you like, some. I do feel like I, I have a unique. No, you thing have a voice. You have, you definitely hold yeah. notes. You you can sing. So yeah. I think that even as you get older, you could sing different kinds of music because you can sing. So you're career can last a very long time just keep re reinventing yourself yeah i think like no matter who you are you always have to reinvent yourself because uh society moves on and the kind of status of music change mm -hmm. like if you compare adele or bruno mars's music from five years ago to now it's com it is a completely different genre absolutely and i don't think that's like a that's not like a subconscious like or a conscious decision even it's just like naturally happens it's a natural no, progression Adele, Adele when music will, changes yeah. so Adele your style. will go on she'll go on forever once she starts yeah. to sing the classics as she gets older she'll sing the classics and she'll have tours all over the country her career won't be as big as it is now but she'll still be around working because Adele yeah. has a beautiful <laughs> voice yeah, yeah. Um, yeah you actually on, cover like, Adele a lot, so you must be a, a relatively big Adele fan. Well, his voice is yeah. similar. The notes he holds are like Adele's notes. I thought um, yeah, he was a, a girl. Yeah, I'm a fan of Adele. What, and Sia, yeah. you, Sia, you're a big fan of Sia, right? Is that how you pronounce yeah. her name, Sia? Yeah, yeah. And you can't see her. Yes. She uh, <laughs> is an artist, which you would you know some of her songs because you hear me playing them a lot because I like I like her a lot too. And she's nobody knows what her face looks like because no matter oh, where I she goes, she one, wears like, the wig, the wig oh, over her what ears. A, what a good gimmick! <laughs> because she's really an ugly guy. <laughs> yeah, but she's an ugly guy who sings really good. So all right, so here's yeah. what I, here's what I want to do for everybody. So you have a song and and. Uh, you don't know if you're going to actually release it, but it's an original song. It's called Shadow, and I want to um, I want to play it for everybody, and then we've got some other covers we're going to be playing later in the show, but since we have you live right now, and this is a, a song that nobody's actually heard, right? Nobody's really heard this song. No. Um, I was written by a guy from uh, Ireland, uh, Brian Shell. Uh, he's a friend of mine, and yeah, I don't, I don't know, like, it's just, it's not like, Specifically, like the the way I want to move forward with my music, it's not maybe not the best style for me. Um, but I just feel like it's it's nice to always give like people something original to hear, you know. Absolutely, and it's beautiful. Uh, you sound so beautiful know, in it. Thank you very much. Don't know where it's gonna go. Don't know if it's gonna get released. Uh, but yeah. Either way, they're gonna hear it here on the guys, Jimmy Star Show, you guys. Chad, do you have the song Shadow? And millions of people will be listening. So we'll see what happens. All right, so so uh, here here we got everybody. This is like a world premiere of a song you may not even ever hear again. I don't know if you're going to hear it or not by X Factor contestant Niall Sexton. Sure buttons. And uh, <laughs> that's right. And uh, the name of the song is Shadow. We've got Niall Sexton live. And here it is, everybody. Enjoy Shadow by Niall Sexton. As you look up 
to the sky I see the ears are falling from the tears in your eyes and I whisper as you leave my whole world I've been your man I've been your If your world just falls apart If this life you picture leaves you with a heavy heart If the lights are fading now Don't be alone Baby, come on home I've been your man So go chase the stars wherever you are I'll be shadow And in the silence of the crowd it gets too loud You know, I know how beautiful you are I'll be shadow Woo, that was nice. There you go, everybody. So you may not ever hear it again, but you heard it on the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell. The, and so worthwhile hearing, folks. The original song, Shadow, by Niall Sexton. Hello, Niall. We loved it, and everybody in the chat room loved it, too. And our chat room does not lie. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so you got to, like, love it. Everybody loved it. By the way, who's in the yeah, chat room? I recorded Anybody that. You should say hello. Uh, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, so how, when did you? You have a home studio, right? Yeah, yeah. I recorded that before I came to London. Um, just the day before, I think. Yeah, I've brought with me kind of home home mic. Okay. Pretty amateur, right? But it, but the sound that comes out of it is decent enough, you know, to put covers up on YouTube and stuff. Yeah, they sound so. good. They sound good yeah. and they look good. And everybody, again, you got to check out Niall Sexton on YouTube because he's got all kinds of videos up there. Some of them have like actual videos where they're doing stuff. He's got some super great covers. You definitely want to hear the Chandelier cover by Sia. Yeah. Um, it's it's check, probably uh, my favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Um, Niall Sexton music on uh, YouTube. My Twitter's Niall Sexton. My Instagram's Niall Sexton official. Um, my Facebook is Niall Sexton and I. Standing for Northern Ireland. Um, what else? Snapchat is N Sexton ninety four. <laughs> Just thought to get that into. There you go. I'm not good at Snapchat. Yeah, you go, do, you go on, do you go on Snapchat a lot? Cause like I I, I have a Snapchat account, but I kind of stink. What kind of chat? Snapchat. Uh, I think yeah. you said Snatch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on there regularly. Yeah. Okay, I, I have like to that. like start doing stuff with it because I have to make an I have to make an announcement for everyone out there. I'm not being quiet because I don't like our guest. I certainly like our guest. 
I'm being quiet because Jimmy was kind enough to give me the Fran Drescher interview and not come in on it because, you know, I adore her and I wanted that interview. So I owed Jimmy an interview and I said, since this boy is really young and I don't know much about very young people, why don't you take the interview, Jimmy? So that's why I'm quiet. It's not because I dislike our guest. There I think he's very charming and very sweet. I don't get excited about guests very often, Niall. I just have to say, just because I've watched your YouTube videos a zillion times, you know, and even though you're not a superstar yet, I do believe that you're going to be a superstar. And I have a phenomenal ear, you know, because I've been working in the music industry for 20 years, and like I've never heard people like you. And I think that that somebody really big needs to like snatch you up and when they snatch you up, you know, put a little bit of money into you and I think you could be like the next Adele. You'd be the male version of Adele because there isn't anybody like that and I think you could be one of the biggest stars like ever. So I was very excited that that we had you come on even though I know a lot of our listeners don't you know who especially the ones in the United States are not familiar with who you are. I'm hoping that this this interview will help, you know, a lot of people find out who you are because everybody really and anybody who's a real music lover really needs to know who you are because you're real, such a phenomenal talent. And I know you'll you be so much. happy when you get snatched up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, um I'm open for deals and uh for uh record uh record deals, so you know. There yeah. you go. Contact. So so <laughs> I want to ask him, do you know who Fran Drescher is? Um no. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't get the, you get the nanny in London. Have you ever seen that TV show, The Nanny? No. no I guess maybe they, it, Non. Maybe it wasn't in Ireland. I know it played in London. In England. In England. There's a there's a TV show called Super Nanny. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's different because yeah, they brought that to America. Like that's a terrible yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, the, no, The Nanny yeah. was a comedy, like a sitcom, like a comedy. And of, she's a very okay. famous comedian. She's a super famous like actress and comedian yeah, that we had on a couple concert. weeks ago. We each have a few people that we would like to interview a lot. His was Fran Drescher, and I want to interview Molly Ringwald. So Molly Ringwald, if you're listening, uh, we want to get you on the Jimmy Star Show. Do you know who Molly Ringwald is? You're not going to because you're too young. The, no, the, the name is familiar. Did you ever see Breakfast Club? Breakfast Club or oh, 16 Candles? Yeah, yeah, Breakfast Club. Is she the ginger haired girl yeah, or the brown haired? Yeah, ginger haired girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love God. her. We should have like should horse. have got us both on at the same time so we could like we could <laughs> yeah you could be gingers ginger together. <laughs> yeah, Molly we live Ringwald. on. <laughs> no, I'm not saying anything bad about Molly Ringwald. I'm not going to say a word. He doesn't think for him it's not a big deal. For me, I'm an '80s kid, you know, because I'm in my '50s, yeah. and so like the '80s were like a really big time for me. And nobody is bigger in the '80s than Molly Ringwald. Well, my next yeah. one would have been the person I talked about, who's Johnny Mathis, who's a wonderful performer, and I know Johnny, but Johnny was supposed to come on show, on our show last April, but Johnny listened in at a couple of our shows, and I think he felt it wasn't quite for him. He's a man from the days of elegance and, and totally. Where you don't say fuck. Where you anything. don't say, you know, <laughs> you don't say the shit that I say. And, and Johnny, doesn't, Johnny doesn't know me this way. Johnny knows me as a polite man because we're similar in age. But when I do my show, of course, I have to entertain. So we make it fun. And I think, yeah, and, yeah. and I reassured him. I said, no, we're going to, I would never curse or anything. And he said, you know, he does, he's very shy. He doesn't like to do interviews anyway. And most stars don't trust me. Yeah, because you never know what he's going to say. You never know what I'm going to say. It's always good, but you never know what he's going to say. That's, a good, that's it's... a good trait to an interviewer. It's, it's exciting when someone, you know, it's, it's well, kind of boring when someone's predictable. So. Yeah, well, we're, not, we're unfiltered and we're uncensored and we don't have a script. We have no idea what we're going to say. This is I all... just have your songs written down. And, and right. I... And I wrote down the names, <laughs> and I wrote down the names of the people that I liked this, in in uh, X Factor in case I would forget any of them. So who who did you pal around with the most on X Factor? Um, well, funnily enough, um, in book camp there there was a lot more Irish people than they showed. They only showed like two, oh, okay. or three. Um, but there was like there was like seven or eight or nine or ten or something like that. Uh, so we kind of flocked together naturally, <laughs> like wasn't, all the Irish isn't people. The girl, wasn't the girl who's still in it? Wasn't she Irish? I forgot her name. But there's a girl that's still in. She's the only girl left in it. And then and no, then, Scottish Emily. Oh, Scottish. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen yeah. the Have you seen the movie Brooklyn? No. Have you? You should. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you should it? see it. It's about Irish immigrants coming to our country 70 years ago and what it was like and how they, you know, uh, became Americans and 
It's a lovely it's love a, story. It got and an Academy the, Award the, nomination. And the star of it, she's Irish. Oh, you know her, I oh, bet. Really? I bet uh, you'll know. I don't know how to pronounce her name. It's like Sayors Ronin or something. Say, Sayors. Oh, yeah, 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 I know her. Yeah, she, she's the lead. She's but, the yeah, star. <laughs> she's Not the, personally. <laughs> she, she's the star of the movie, and she did a brilliant job. I got news for you. That both of the – and yeah, the she's, fellow she's that played her love interest was wonderful. Did you ever see that movie where she's like a hit person? Where she's like yeah, a little Hannah. kid? Hannah, yeah, well, yeah. that's a good movie, yeah. boy. Well, go yeah. see – watch – get Brooklyn. You have Netflix in London, right? Yeah. Go on Netflix. Yeah. I think it's there now. And watch Brooklyn. You will really enjoy it. It really shows what Irish people went through. So, so, so who is like, okay. who would be like, actually, I don't know. Cause I, do, do you follow like any like pop culture, American, like celebrities, like movie stars and stuff like that? Cause I know all their movies come to, to your country also. I wouldn't say like, I don't really follow people. Like I'm not like, a, like I'm a fan of lots of people, but just like casually. Like, uh, I don't, like, I'm not obsessed with anyone. Well, like, if you could, like, um, date any famous like, Hollywood female, like, actress or something, like, who's somebody who you're like, oh, my God, she's hot, I'd like to go out on a date with her? Uh, Maybe, like, Ariana Grande. Okay. She's not, she's a singer, <laughs> but. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. I meant, like, yeah, just any celebrity. She won a whole bunch of awards at the American Music Awards the other night. Yeah, uh, yeah I here. caught up on it uh, with YouTube today. Um, but I yeah, uh, she you know who she is. I do know who she is. Yeah, you know she's yeah, also uh, or to you. She's her music's too young for you. Uh, we don't ever listen because I don't listen to her. But, everything on the planet. But she's got young. like all these like commercials. She's got a bunch of commercials now in America uh, that she's doing. Yeah, like, a bit of a pop princess. Yeah, she's a pop princess. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, like her and Selena gum. Gomez would probably be bubblegum girl. <laughs> bubblegum. Right? Yeah, she's like bubblegum pop. Yeah. Yeah, it's different. It's not what you would listen to, actually. And I, I don't I listen don't. to a lot of it. I have to say, I'm a boy band fan, so like, I always liked all the boy bands, and I was a huge like Gary Barlow, take that, uh, yeah, yeah, take that fan, and and Robbie Williams. Like, I've been tweeting with Robbie Williams, trying to get him on the show because I love Robbie Williams. I think he's like awesome, and um, and so like I've always been a big boy band, and like when I was in my favorite thing, because I've been to England like a zillion times, and I loved going to Piccadilly Circus to the Wax Museum to see the Wax Museum statues of all the like famous yeah. British singers. Tourists. I'm a, I'm a tourist. Yeah. I'm a tourist. I'm a tourist. What can oh I tell you? God. Well, of course, why not? I go to London um, for other things. I go to the theater. I, I like that I too. I like in the London because I get drunk and I sit there and I watch it play. I, the, 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 London theater is fabulous. I love it. <laughs> So and here's and it's West half End, of the yeah. Price yeah, West End, of, and it's half the yeah. price of America. You know, it's much cheaper yeah, than Broadway American tickets. Be a lot, a lot What'd you think of eight hundred and fifty dollars to get in to see that, whatever it's called, Hamilton? They don't have Hamilton there. Oh, it didn't come to you yet, Hamilton? Uh, oh, I don't it's, think it's, so. It's, no, it's, it's an eight eight hundred and fifty dollar ticket. I don't know what that is in pounds, well, but it's a lot. Me of and my pounds. dad, me and my dad were a few years ago in London, and we got. Uh, we've got to see what show is it. I can't remember what show. Maybe like Wicked, I think. Yeah, Wicked's a good uh, Wicked, yeah. And yeah, it's great. Me and my mom and dad went to see that, and uh, it was like twenty five pounds. But it was obviously one of them like uh, box the the kind right. of shitty seats. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> uh, that, that you literally you had to go like this to see. Yeah. You, like... <laughs> so, but it, it, it was it, it was worth it. <laughs> so here's it what I, here's what I want to do for everybody. While we still got you on, I want to play one more of your videos. Um, I've got. I'll tell you what I gave him, so you can tell me which one you think would be the the one that represents you well. I have yours by Ella Henderson, "Hello" by Adele, or "Run" by Nicole Scherzinger. Which one do you think you would like everybody to hear? Say the three again. You just broke okay. up. Okay, yours by Ella Henderson. Hello by yep. Adele or Run by Nicole Scherzinger? Um, either Run or Hello, whatever you think. I like no, let's do Hello then. I like the Hello one. So Chad. Hello. Can you get the Hello? <laughs> hello. <laughs> can you can you get the Adele Hello cover ready? You got it. You got it ready? Is it ready already? It, that's a Roger, Roger. That's a Roger, Roger. All right, so actually, Niall, you actually introduce it for everybody, and then hang on, we're going to play it for everybody. Cool. Uh, so, hi, guys. Thank you very much for listening. Um, this is my cover of Adele's Smash Hit. Hello. That was nice. There you go, everybody. So that's the Adele cover of the song Hello by Niall Sexton. Everybody in the chat room, lots of people saying they liked it better than Adele's version, which is a huge compliment. And I it think is fantastic. I like, I like it better myself. I think I did too. 
You got to go. You, and if you guys okay. want to see more great covers like that, you go to Niall Sexton Music on YouTube. You can check out his uh, all his videos. He's got tons of them. Some of them are artists uh, like he's got like Miley Cyrus on there. He's got uh, well. What are some of the old like Bob Seger? No, not Bob Seger. What are some of the older rocker people that you did a couple songs? Because I was like, wow, what a wide range of songs. Beautiful. Um, Joe Cocker. Done, Joe Cocker, right? You did Joe, Joe Cocker, Cocker. Yeah, right? you are so beautiful. Yeah, it's a it's a classic song. Great. And you know, um, folks. If yeah, you, there's there's if, a couple if, of old ones there, a couple of new. If you forget this this guy's name, there's an easy way to remember his name. Just think of oh. tons of sex, and then reverse it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, Sexton. I, I got that school. It's like uh, now Sexton. Did has they tons tease you in school? Did, in school, did they say, "Hey, tons of sex"? They didn't tease you. Well, in I don't think that's really teasing. That's kind of a compliment. But uh, <laughs> but no, I I I, I, <laughs> so I, I don't I take it lightly. Um, no, I, I thought that people would when I was going into school, you know, like uh, secondary school, which is kind of like high school, like when you're just growing up and realizing like stuff. Um, but uh, no, nah, no one said anything weirdly. <laughs> so they never reversed your name. But anyway, so if you forget his name, just think of a ton of sex and you got it. Sexton. Listen to yeah. you guys. You can go to www.nilesextonmusic.com. And if you go to his website, on the front page of his website, there's actually a bunch of the videos are right there. You can just click on them right off of his website. And That's you right. can follow him on Twitter. It's at him on um, Instagram. It's on Snapchat, which I need me L. Uh, N Sexton, my year of birth. N, N Sexton, ninety four, ninety. You weren't born in sixty nine. I'm old enough to be his dad. I'm old. Are you old? <laughs> to be my dad. Okay. Thanks. Thanksgiving. No. In England, no, right? Because no, it's, it's a good good excuse to to show food fun of turkey dinners. So, <laughs> <laughs> so any excuse. That they have not changed. That miss you're not supposed to say any longer in America. Object to it because there are many holidays. I have to understand that Christians who believe in Jesus, I only say Merry Christmas. I never say Merry Christmas because that's Jesus Christ yeah. that day. And I'm not going to die religions. Let everybody call their own. Thanksgiving. Yeah, well, uh, Thanksgiving every religion changed. celebrate. That's Thanks, right. Thanksgiving, it's an American holiday. Anybody in the world has it. And they can't calling it Turkey Day. You know, <laughs> and it's Thanksgiving. To yeah. the thing that we have, because American people are most in the world, and we wing Thanksgiving, and that's what that stupid. I love turkey too. Yeah. I don't even make these things I mean, called corn fritters. No, though, that's my favorite. And I eat the lasagna and a little bit. I'm Italian, so an Italian Thanksgiving. Lots of pasta. <laughs> yes. I, I wither the wither away and die. Do you eat fast food? Do you eat fast food? Too much. Um. McDonald's and KFC. Oh, okay. You, yeah, we. Oh, I love it. You I'm, it. I'm, I'm yeah, a king. I'm, there's a thing on it to everybody, and it says king. Admit it. Sometimes they use horse meat. Burger Queen, Burger okay. King. I love yeah. Bur I love Burger King. Went to KFC, yeah. Taco Bell. I was gonna say I really want to try Taco Bell. I try. You came to Do you have Chipotle? But Do you that's Mexican, like Chipotle. Is I was in London last. I didn't see too many, but I must but say. I've been to London since like the the, the six or fifties, maybe nineteen fifties, and it was a dreadful place to eat. I mean, you would go to a restaurant and everything was steamed and no flavor. There wasn't any kind of seasoning, and in the morning you got bangers and eggs and all this. Oh, it was hideous. I'm so happy to say now that my last trip to London, the restaurants have really improved, and it's yeah, probably it's one good. of the best places in the world to eat today is London. Yeah. Anyway. The one thing I do I love about America is that um well I was in New York last year for two or three months gigging. I was in New York summer two thousand and fifteen and I was gigging there and I, I the thing I love most is that uh the Americans give huge portions. Yes. <laughs> so, that's why we're fat. Oh. That's why all the Americans are so fat. <laughs> I think it's I no, no no no, not saying that. I, I, but, I, uh, yeah. I have yeah, a, but Go ahead. I have a famous thing when I go to dinner with friends. I say, "What a vulgar display of food!" And they all crack up laughing no. because it is a vulgar display of food. Nobody eats yeah, you like pay like that. Seven dollars for like, I got a spaghetti and I thought it was going to come in a, like a side plate or something. It was like no. this huge bowl it's and ridiculous. then like a whole rack. It's, it's of, a like, vulgar display. Uh, garlic of bread. Food. Yeah. Well, wait, wait. Do you well, you, you know, if you're only there for a short while, it's nice. <laughs> if you go, if you go to McDonald's, do you guys do they like do super size me where like they like for like a dollar more you get like huge versions of everything, like bigger, bigger versions where they keep getting bigger and um, bigger. The only thing you get X like for the the only difference between medium and large is the size of the fries, oh, okay. but not the burger. 
Because we do supersize me, and it's unbelievable. Like so, when, all of a sudden, you get like enough food to feed a cow. When my daughter Leslie was sixteen, I took. That's her ironic. To, I took my I took my daughter Leslie to Europe when she was sixteen, so she could see the world and get some culture. All she wanted was McDonald's. Now I'm in London. Okay, I have to find a McDonald's, and I want to know if it's still there. It's right across the street from Hyde Park. On the- I was in Hyde Park a few weeks ago, yeah, right in the little uh, Boris Place. But is that McDonald's the- restaurant still there, right across the street? Yeah. yeah, I think so. That's where I took my kid. That's where she wanted to eat all the time. Imagine McDonald's, McDonald's. unbelievable. All right, so here's what we're going to well, do. Well, that's not very cultured. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wanted, she didn't like the English food either. I love the English food. No, I, well, you know, we're Italian. We like spices. We like flavors, you know. Uh, and the English yeah, I'm Irish. Very, yeah, that's why. From America. I just like, I just like food, so. I've been to Ireland. I went. I was on a cruise ship one time, and I went to Ireland, and I went to, like, the Waterford Crystal Factory. And All right, okay. I don't know what where else I went. Well, you're Irish. But huh? I went to Ireland, Scotland, to... England, Scotland, and Wales, England. and so I was go- going all over the place. It was fun. <laughs> what? He said Did something Did you go to bad. the Giants Causeway? Yes. That's yeah, cool. and the rope bridge. That, that, was, yeah. that, 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 that was Jimmy learning culture at the water for the <laughs> <Blitz factory. laughs> <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot to do though when I was in Ireland. I was there on a Sunday. I think things closed down on Sundays in Ireland or something. Like everything was yeah. closed, so it was yeah. like I thought it was it's like terrible planning to be like in Ireland and you go there and you're walking around. And you can't go anywhere because everything's closed. You have to go see the White Cliffs of Dover. Ask him if he knows what the barley is or whatever you asked me. The what? The barley stone or whatever. Of course he knows what the blimey stone. Blimey stone. Is. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. The bl- of course you know. I mean, Jimmy didn't know what the blimey stone I don't know what it is. was. When we were waiting for you to come on, he's like asking me, do I know what the blimey stone you is? Go to the, like, you go to the castle and you lie backwards and somebody holds your legs while you kiss the stone because you could fall many, many stories down. Onto I would the never ground. do that. I'm afraid of heights. Well, if you want, <laughs> it, it's supposed to give you good luck. Have you thing. done that? Oh, no, I've heard of it. I've never done <laughs> it. The only thing that I think you get from kissing the blimey stone is mouth herpes. <laughs> From everybody else uh, kissing it. If somebody had herpes and they kissed the goddamn stone, you got it. They don't even clean it. That's or why sanit- I didn't do it. No, they didn't even sanitize the stone, at least wipe it. But people were kissing it one after another. I thought, oh, my God, what a place to cut, get germs. That's funny. All right, so here's what we're going to do, everybody. <laughs> First of all, we want, we want everybody to check out Niall Sexton's music. So go to NiallSextonMusic.com or follow him at Niall Sexton on uh, Twitter. Um, you can also just go to YouTube and plug in Niall Sexton Music. You can come up to his page, subscribe to his page, watch all of his videos. I mean, he's got a lot of videos. Now, I don't mean like five videos. I mean, he's got like tons of videos. There's like 40 of them or something. Uh, watch them. Yep. They're very, very good. And uh, we want to wish you all the luck in the world with everything that's going on. And, and, and as things are progressing for you or if you release new music and stuff, let us know. We'd love to have you back. Yeah, thank you very much. I really appreciate you. It. you guys having me on the show. Absolutely. We love it. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. Say goodbye to the chat room and your mom. <laughs> thank you very much, guys, for watching. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my mom. I'll probably, she'll probably call me and be your like, mother, yeah, your, mother, your mother's going to say to you, that dirty mouth on that man on that show. Oh, no, my no, God. no, 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 no. She's going to say, before you pregnant. came on, he was talking about Pusse. Wait, how, how old is your mother? She's young. Yeah, how, wait, uh, how, I cannot say that. I'm not no, but say is she that. like she, 50, she 45? Kill me. Is she 45? She's middle-aged. Then she's hip. She's a hippie. She's yeah, like yeah, a, an yeah, old yeah. hippie. My mom's pretty cool. My mom's cool. Uh, she's she, very, she will laugh. She looked cool on the show. I have to set my watch. I haven't worn this watch, and it's an hour behind there you go anyway we're up to date so here's what we're gonna do everybody please In check out nile sexton music.com that's his like mighty mouse watch my might my, my, hey. do you know who mighty Old mouse school. is do you know who yeah, mighty yeah. mouse is yeah he knows who I, mighty I, mouse have, is. I have i have howdy i have a howdy duty watch i have oh, you have mickey mouse mickey mouse i got all those people you gotta love it all right now we want to thank you so much have a, a great holiday season good luck with everything we wish thank you, you all the much, luck guys. in the world thank you so much good luck you got bye. a great voice you're gonna go hey, places bye. you're going you places bye now. you gotta love it chad wasn't he good you gotta admit his voice is voice. phenomenal he's got great some, voice. Yeah. he's got some voice call my cell phone let me leave me a message i'd like to see you so again uh give me a call when you get up hello it's me i'll
was wondering if after all these years you'd like to meet to go over everything they say the time's supposed to heal you I ain't done much healing hello can you hear me I'm California dreaming of who we used to be when we were younger and free I've forgotten how it felt before the world fell at our feet There's such a difference between us and a million miles Hello from the other side I must have called a thousand times to be home Hello from the outside At least I can say that I've tried To tell you I'm sorry For breaking your heart But it don't matter It clearly doesn't tell you about Hello, how are you? It's so difficult for me to talk about myself, I'm sorry, I hope that you will. And did you ever make it out of that town when nothing ever happened? It's no secret that the both of us are running out of time So hello from the other side I must have called a thousand times To tell you I'm sorry for everything that I've done But when I call you never I seem to be
Ah. Uh -huh.